This is Shane, and you're watching Smart Fox TV. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Hispanic Heritage Month begins tomorrow, September 15th through October 15th. This is the time to recognize and celebrate the achievements of Hispanic Americans who have inspired many others to succeed. To celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month, we're going to learn three easy crafts you can do at home to celebrate. First up, we have Papel Picado. If you know your way around scissors and paper, or even better, you've cut out many snowflakes before, you can create your own DIY papel picado. These are often used to decorate streets during a celebration or festival, including Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead. To make them, you just need some colored tissue paper or colored paper, scissors, markers, and yarn or tape to put up your papel picados. First, you want to start by folding your sheet in half, and then again in half, like what you see in steps one and two. Make sure only one side has folds and make a dot on the corner of the folds like what you see in step three. This is where you will not cut at all. From there, cut all the other sides like you would a snowflake, except for the corner with the dot and folds. You can make all kinds of shapes like triangles, flowers, and rectangles. To make shapes in the middle of your paper, Fold the paper in half carefully and cut out a shape in the fold, like what you see in steps 4 through 6. Finally, carefully unfold your paper and string or tape it on yarn, like what you see in step 7. Second, we have paper fiesta flowers. This is another easy craft you can create in little time and put all over your walls or doors. You will need at least 6 sheets of different colored tissue paper, a stapler, and tape. First. You want to stack six sheets of tissue paper together. Next, accordion fold the stack of tissue paper. This means to fold the paper stack in opposite directions, front to back and back to front like a paper fan, until you have one skinny rectangular strip of tissue papers. Staple right in the middle of your strip of tissue papers. Using your fingers, Carefully fold out the tissue paper layers from the stapled center so that you have a circle of tissue papers. Make sure you only crinkle and fluff out the inner four layers of tissue paper and try to leave the outer two layers of tissue paper alone. This will help keep it a flower-like shape. Finally, you can tape the flower up wherever you'd like. As a variation, you can create a pollen center in your flowers by trimming the innermost layer of tissue paper like what you see in the green and red example. Our third and last craft is the Mexican folk art plate. This final craft is quick and easy to put around the house or on the wall. For this final craft, you will need aluminum foil, paper plates, and colored Sharpies. First, you wanna start by covering a plate with aluminum foil. Next, turn the plate around to the face side. Using a darker colored Sharpie, draw out either one large picture like a sun or flower, or many smaller things like birds, fruits, cats, fish, or skeletons. After that, you can use the colored Sharpies to color in the shapes and solids or speckle with many colors. Here are some examples of Mexican folk art. Notice how there is usually a theme and there are many colors, shapes, and patterns used. Once you're done, display your art proudly. We hope you enjoyed today's craft segment. Have a great start to your Hispanic Heritage Month. Welcome to Smart Fox News. The brothers Amon Ray St. Brown and Equanimous St. Brown scored two touchdowns, two minutes apart, one for the Detroit Lions and one for the Chicago Bears. 
The siblings faced each other twice last season as NFC North Division rivals when Equatomus played for the Green Bay Packers. But now his brother, Amin Raj, said he thinks it's pretty cool because Equanimous is playing for the Bears. A new scenery for him, a new team, and he thinks he loves it over there as he made his first touchdown and he thinks two years the family was happy tweeting to each other texting each other and letting each other know this will be an exciting game for the head-to-head -head against each other this season Giselle Butchen, model and wife of Tom Brady's, wishes her husband could be more present in their family's life, adding she is concerned about his return to the sport after prematurely announcing his retirement earlier this year. She stated, obviously I have my concerns, this is a very violent sport, and I have my children and I would like him to be more present. She told Elle magazine she was not at the game to support, but she did support through Instagram as she posted a good luck message to him. But she did state also that ultimately I feel that everybody has to make a decision that works for them. He needs to follow his joy. She stated that she did her part to be supportive as a wife, but she has moved to Boston to focus on creating a loving environment for her children while supporting his dreams. She said she has a huge list of things she's going to do and at 42 is connected with her own purpose. Good luck to this family. In international news, all flights to Shanghai's two international airports have been canceled as the city braces itself for violent typhoon. Typhoon Mufa has made land fall in China, hitting the city southeast of Shanghai. This is the 12th cyclone to hit mainland China this year. Authorities expect it to be the most powerful so far. Waves up to five meters high or 16 feet are expected near the city of some 25 million. This is Kim. Hi, this is Sally. Hello, this is Tracy. This is Shane. And thanks for watching. Marbox TV. Stay, Stay foxy. foxy.